Hi, my name is Patrick. Welcome to my channel. Today, I want to share with you guys about art and his word. Um, basically, this is a sharing about all my art pieces that is all inspired through the scripture and also how the scripture uh, leads me to all the creation. And this is something that I just want to share with everyone. So maybe let me bring you through everything, right? So basically today, um, this art piece is called, this series is called From Above. There are three, total in three categories. I split them to three categories. The first category is called Miracle of God. Second one is called the Power of God. And the third one is called the Love of God. So this particular one I talk about is the Miracle of God. And this particular piece that I want to share is called Promise. So let me bring you through it. All right. Okay. In Joshua 3, 14 to 16, it says, so it was when the people set out from their camp to cross over the Jordan with the priest bearing the Ark on, of the Covenant before the people. And as those who bore the Ark came to the Jordan and the feet of the priest who bore the Ark deep in the edge of the water. For the Jordan overflow is banked during the whole time of harvest, that the water which come down from the upstream stood still and rose in the heaps very far away at Adams, the city that is beside Zarotan. So the water went down into the Sea of Arabah, the Salt Sea, failed and were cut off. And the people crossed over opposite Jericho. Then the priest bore the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord, stood still, stood firm on the ground, on the dry ground in the midst of Jordan. And all Israel crossed over on the dry ground until the people had crossed completely over the Jordan. So basically this is the verse that uh, I got my inspiration from and I wanted to create one piece that to show the Ark of Covenant crossing the river Jordan and the water was the river was being pushed back so um, the idea is that the inspiration is I, I wanted to create one piece that to talk about when many times in our life when we have no way God will create a way so when the children of Israel stand before the river Jordan they couldn't cross unless unless there is a spirit uh, a miracle happened to to them right so the our covenant it, it is always a picture of yeshua our lord jesus and wherever that he's moved he always moved be ahead of the people like our situation the lord always go ahead of us um, for this case the ark went into the river so and also by the faith the priests carry the ark they did not wait till the water being rolled back then they walk it says that their leg deep in the edge of the water and then the water flow rolls back um it's a it's a picture of faith right many times uh, the lord will always ask us to do something first and not change the situation first then we we, we say okay i'll do it for my own personal journey it's the same i i went through this journey of of um, um, doing working as a full-time uh, worker and and when the Lord inspired me to come out to be an artist a full-time artist so it's by faith I start to do something and by faith I step out then I start to see the provision coming I start to see all door open yeah so this uh, is really speak of my own personal journey as well so likewise for those who those of you who watch this and I, I, I believe that when you see you see this verse by faith step into it when the lord inspired you by faith go and do it and the water will roll back all right so maybe let me show you how the process is uh okay all my art i use um is created using resin right so it's a resin and oil painting and resin or acrylic so basically this is what my idea is i wanted to create a piece whereby the river is is um, occupied two third and then one third. So I apply the rules of one third, right? The Fadolfi rules, and this is a one third, and then this is a two third. So from here, I thought, okay, this is a good composition, and uh, I'm going to pour, and and it will go according to plan. But many times it it change. So for this case, I'll show you, right? I'll show you how the uh, the effect has changed. So for resin, every piece of resin. Uh, before you pour, the, the levering of the base is very crucial. It's so important. Anything that is uneven, the liquid will start to flow downwards. 
to the lowest point. So likewise for this case, it's the same, right? So later you can see, I play the video, you can see. So, and um, I started to pour. You can see a straight line, but it started to, started to become a wave in the center, right? It's very fast, so I'm trying to push back. I'm trying to push back, I couldn't. I just couldn't push back, so I have no choice. I have to flow with it. So, but in my mind, in my mind is that that's it. This one I have to discard. This piece is gone, right? Because uh, it totally go against my plan. Okay, so I do a close up again to show you how quickly the the liquid has the resin has formed in a in a, a wave shape, right? So with this, right, I'm trying to flow with it, but my mind is this cut and uh, many of times right when we plan things when we plan our 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 art pieces or when you do things in life right uh, we have plans we have our own plan we have our own schedule we have our own uh, um, things that we are we we wanted it to be right but but if we are willing to to flow with God things will be very different so for this case um, when I started to do when the thing goes off my plan I thought okay let go and that's it it is gone this piece I'm, I'm prepared to discard I prepared to discard it because uh, and, and it's also very expensive each piece of the production cost is, is, is high so I said okay fine it's gone but but little do I know right when I started to let go and and, and 24 hours later or 40 hours I can't remember exactly how, how long I came back because it takes about <clears throat> at least 24 to 48 hours to dry for the resin so when when i come back right uh, my mindset is that okay no choice i have to let go and let god to take over this whole piece because um, uh, i'm preparing to lose it but little did i know that things will turn out way better way better many things in life when we hold when 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 we be are the we are the one that control our situation okay god lets god let go but when we let go God take over. So I really encourage any all of you to learn to do that. Let go and let God. Okay? So I show you guys this is my original plan. Okay? This is after computer graphics. I try to <coughs> create the, the line to make it straight to show you this is my original plan. My original idea. I wanted to be like that. Um, then like once I let go and let God, you realize that thing has changed. This is the way how God sees it and it is so much better than i thought way better right now it's so much more dynamic and also interestingly if you see the curve you see the wave right now it looks like the hand of god just pulling the curtain pulling the wave the, the river over and then at the same time where the arc crosses it creates a power feels like that there's a power that pushing the, the wave away so the whole piece has changed i will never think of this right and let me compare side by side to let you see side by side why how much different is that i am and i am sure that you guys can agree with me that it really makes a lot of difference right so at the same time when you look at the side of the of the the, the art pieces there's a, when the resin right every piece will over there's an overflow of the resin the resin will start to drip off but and when it's drip off right these are all hardened right now. These are all hardened. But it, right now, it just reminds me, after looking at this picture, it just reminds me of, of this verse in Exodus 3 It says that, So I have come down to deliver them out of the hands of Egypt and bring them up from the land to a good and large land, to a land flowing with milk and honey. So, wouldn't you guys agree with me that this right now, it looks like honey that is overflow? overflowing of honey and uh, many times god goodness is measured not by how much it fills to the brim of the of the of the cup but instead it is how much overflow it is in our life so for this case you, you, it really looks like an overflow of god goodness and especially with the honey right so uh, I, I i love this dripping effect and many people love it as well so let me show you this piece where I, every of my art pieces, there is this thing called augmented reality function. 
So I created animation or video to show the, uh, the live painting of the art pieces or at the same time to show the progress of the, the, the art piece. So this particular one, it is a live painting. So you can see the water moving right now. See, you can see the water start to flow and give you a feeling of wow, the, the, the water is being rolling back right now. And all the, the visual, to, in order to see this right, you, you need to download this app. Okay, it's called Artivive. A-R-T-I-V-I-V-E Alright, it's a free app, download, you don't need to register, you can just use it and just go to any of the App Store or the Google Play Store to download Alright, and use your handphone and just uh, point at any of my art pieces you're able to see it, go to www.patrickbazalio.com and uh, look at any of the art pieces and point and, and, and you'll see all the animation come alive Alright, so uh, let me sign off and if you like this channel, please subscribe to my channel and also there will be more to come. Alright, I'll see you next time.